our view of stratified medicine is it's an approach to try and better link the underpinning mechanisms of disease to the therapies you're using for disease so that you get drugs that work better in patient populations because you understand what the disease is you're treating more effectively. Six years ago, the report was focused predominantly on trying to work out whether this is something that's gonna happen, why it would happen, what are the scientific fundamentals that would allow this to happen. I think now that we've had six or seven years since that report, and it's pretty clear that it's happening substantially, uh, and that there's widespread support for the notion from the other funding agencies in the UK, that this was more about saying, okay guys, now we accept it's gonna happen, there are very good reasons for it to happen, but what are the obstacles for it being delivered? And some of those are infrastructure, how can you really make the data thing work at the NHS? How do you deal with pricing? How do you deal with regulation? How do you deal with the diagnostics industry and how that fits in? So that's what the focus was on this occasion. Healthcare is arguably the last major industry not to be transformed by the information age. The reason for that is I think it is a really complex industry made up of multiple players, but we've got to put the patient first. And my argument is that information science is absolutely vital if we're going to drive up the quality and effectiveness of healthcare, not only for individual patients, but also to improve the efficiency of health systems. My personal interest in the sort of pricing and reimbursement component of this I am keen to take forward and I think the plan is that we will have a, a get together in the autumn. We're having the initial launch now and hopefully raising the issues but certainly in the context of the pricing and reimbursement question we have discussions at the moment between the department and the pharmaceutical industry about value-based pricing. Um, NICE already has um, introduced a diagnostics assessment program so in principle again that's something that can be built on. Um, so we do have a number of, of elements that are already in place that can um, be developed for the future. The Academy's been pretty important in the evolution of the thinking around this, really since 2007. It put it on the map in 2007. It's pursued it pretty systematically since then. And this report lays out some of the barriers to the wider implementation of, of a stratified medicine approach. Um, the Academy will almost certainly be involved in thinking about how one changes policy and who needs to be in the room to help policy move on. I think as we move forward we have to build public engagement into everything that we do. I think it will prove to be vital not only in terms of increasing the public understanding of stratification and how we communicate that but also to guide us in some of the thorny issues in, in terms of data sharing and information governance.